We're back. You're watching the Jersey City Show. Pat O'Neill, here. You, the concerned Jersey City resident. Don't forget, start planning. You got Thanksgiving coming up. Then right after that, we're in the Christmas season. The Christmas Best Christmas Decorated Home Contest. We're going to do a little, uh, maybe next week or the week after, a little, little piece on what not to do when you're decorating so you have a better chance of winning because there's a lot of money involved. But let's get to the basis of why we're here, the Jersey City Show. Parent accountability. It's called the Autumn Pasquale Law. And this is working its way through uh, Trenton. Autumn Pasquale's an uh, unfortunate young girl who was uh, murdered um, by neighbors over bicycle parts, as I recall. And they want to pass a law that makes parents responsible for the actions of minors. Um, crimes. Uh, I wholeheartedly support this. It could mean so much of a difference. And it, it's not going to change anything for Pasquale, but it'll maybe deter some other kids from doing stupid, which there seems to be a lot of stupid lately. You got the kid out in LAX, you got the kid in the Garden State Mall. Uh, but if this law is passed, it can apply to, you know, a gangbanger may think twice before committing some crime when, when he's being taken into the uh, police station, there's mom handcuffed to the, the metal bench. You know, gangbanger, me may not want to see mom locked up, but that's what's got to happen. Mom and dad, if they're raising these criminals, and some of these are pure animals, these kids, the parents have to be responsible. And it goes under endangering the welfare of a minor. You know, if this kid's out there at uh, midnight and he's, you know, pulling some crime, he's breaking into your car, he's mugging, breaking into your house, whatever the hell he's doing, selling drugs, he's a minor. There's someone who's responsible for that. And that's the parents. I am all in favor of this. Listen, if little Johnny is busted, you know little Johnny, oh, little Johnny never has been in trouble. Little Johnny's got a rap sheet as long as your arm. Uh, he's busted at 1 o'clock in the morning uh, peddling some drugs or he's breaking into your car, little Johnny's going to have to go to the youth house. But he goes to the police station first. And there's mom. Mom is handcuffed to the metal bench. I think little Johnny's going to feel when mom's handcuffed, along with all the other dredges of society, who one of them she raised. I don't think little Johnny or that gangbanger is going to be too crazy about that. And maybe that's a deterrent. See, when I was a kid, the deterrent was getting busted for these crimes. But, you know, we weren't doing B&Es. You know, the worst thing we did, we robbed the freight. I want to tell you, there was instant justice in the old days. I'm not, you know, any old time is going to tell you the story. First, the cops kicked your ass. Then he took you home. And then you got your ass kicked again. There was instant justice there. But that's not the case. It, it's, a, it's a different society now. We raise the kids different. You know, babies having babies, and this is coming home to roost. When we're busting some 16-year-old kid, and we're bringing them home, and there's 31-year-old mom. There's the problem. Babies having babies, nobody's raising the kids. Somebody's got to be held responsible for the actions of these kids. And it's got to be the parents. We're responsible for everything else. Listen, a kid commits a crime, you're going to have to be responsible. Simple as that. Again, it comes down to endangering the welfare of a minor. If you're doing this, you're not raising your kid. You don't know where little Johnny is. At midnight, they're the problem. You're not a good parent. You're raising a menace to society here. You know, somebody who's robbing elderly, breaking into cars, breaking into homes, breaking into stores, robbing gas stations. We see the ages of these kids. When you read the Jersey Journal, ask Michael Conte and the JJ. These are the kids. Now, the city's got to stand up and start creating some jobs, but the first responsibility, people look at school, it's not school, it's the family. The family, is, family unit is failing these kids. And then they become the problem of society. Well, if you're creating a problem, you're going to have to be held responsible. If you raise little Johnny, who's a criminal, and I tell you, once they, once they turn to crime, not many of them come back. And it, again, it's not like the, the stuff we did when we were kids. You know, robbing freight, yeah, maybe we robbed a couple of cars. But, you know, did we ever rob an individual? No. Rob a gas station? No. A store, a liquor store, or a restaurant? You know, um, Rob somebody's mother? Never. We never dreamed of that. Freight trains were pretty much it. And add to that, if little Johnny and his family are on assistance or Section 8 housing, you lose that too. That's got to be. I know in the uh, affordable housing, in the, uh, the housing authority, 
if somebody's busted for a crime, the family's out. You're going to have to make that across the board. Somehow, little Johnny, who's sitting there at 6 o'clock in the night, and he's not doing his homework, he, you know, he's not doing anything constructive, is thinking, you know, what can I do tonight to cause some problem? Hopefully, little Johnny's thinking, well, I get busted. Mom is going to jail. Dad's going to jail. I'm going to be out of a house. And these are the, you know, the responsibilities and you know the, 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 the sentences that have to be uh, handed out here. This has to be done. If you're raising a little criminal, you're gonna have to pay for it. You know, there was a, a Channel 5, they still do this. It's 10 o'clock, you know where your children are? Well, I tell you what, after 10 o'clock, if we bust your kid, and this kid's a minor, he's like 16, and I'm busting him at 11 o'clock at night, I'm busting mom and dad too. Gonna go right to the house, say, uh, we got little Johnny, you know, little Johnny who never gets in trouble? Little Johnny's in the squad car. You're gonna be in the squad car too. We're gonna stuff you in, handcuff her, mom, handcuff her, grab the back of her head, squeeze her into the back of the car. Now there's a squeeze, because there's no, you know, uh, the Ford Crown Victorias or the Chevy uh, Impalas anymore. These are rather small police cars, so you will be stuffing mom in. I wanna see what little Johnny's thinking, how tough little Johnny is when mom is stuffed into the back seat of the police car. All right, we're going to break for commercial. Remember, you know where your children are at 10 o'clock? You should. And if you don't, you'll have to pay for that. We're going to break for commercial. We'll be right back. <laughs> 